everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we have part one of our B6543 rep dress sew along. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do full bust adjustments on my wrap dress patterns, which I'll be doing a few alterations before I even make a muslin. And then I'm going to make a muslin for the bodice and uh, then we'll talk about fit and the different um, things that I'm going to do from there. Um, and yeah, that'll pretty much take us through today. So then next week we will get started on um, actually cutting out the dress and uh, starting to sew. Um, I'm not sure how many parts this is going to be. I kind of uh, film these sew-alongs on the fly, <laughs> so I have not started making it yet. Um, I've just done what you've seen, the fitting things, so um, yeah. So we're just going to kind of go along. This might be three, maybe? I doubt it goes into four. It's a pretty simple dress, probably three parts. Um, but yes, as always, please leave me any questions that you might have down below in the comments section, and I will try to get those answered. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and that this helps with any fitting that you might have for this wrap dress or any other wrap dress pattern. All right, I will see you guys um, on Tuesday if you are watching, uh, if you're not watching the daily vlogs. If you are watching the daily vlogs, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, but Tuesday we'll be talking about my favorite online fabric stores and um, my favorite independent pattern designers and how I buy quality fabric online. Okay, have a good Sunday, everyone. Bye. Okay guys, I'm trying this and this is on, I'm using my phone for this angle, so um, hopefully this, this works well. Okay, so we are doing C and Sew, which is a Butterick pattern. Uh, this is 6543. These are the pattern pieces that you're going to have. I'm making the shorter version. Um, you are going to have a front piece. You're going to have a tie piece. We're going to talk about this here in a little bit. You will have a sleeve piece. You will have a let's see, front piece, you'll have a pocket piece, two skirt pieces, a front and a back, and a back bodice piece that was still on the floor. Okay, so we're going to go through this piece by piece, um, and we'll do the full bust adjustments and stuff last. But I'm going to talk about the alterations I'm going to make before I do my muslin, because it's things that I already know. Now, one thing, this pattern has it closing like a bathrobe. I'm going to move these so we don't get confused. Actually, let's move these to the side. This pattern has um, the ties working like you would close like a bathrobe. I don't like that. I want to make this a full wrap, and that's what I'm going to do. So these tie pieces are going to be need to be much longer. Now, your left tie piece will need to be not as long as your right tie piece. I think I'm saying that correctly. Yes, your right piece that attaches to the right side because we are going to wrap um, right over the left. So the right only needs to go, the right needs to go all the way around to tie and the left only needs to go from this side, from your right side all the way over. Okay, so yes, sorry, speaking, thinking out loud there. I like the width, I like the, the thinner strap but I am going to make these much, much longer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece out, but when I'm cutting this out of fabric later, I am going to extend this quite a bit, and I'll probably just end up making the front, or the right and the left side um, the same length, and then I can chop off however much I want off the one side um, when all is said and done. So this piece is fine. I'm gonna put it aside. I will cut around it um, to where it's nice and cut out. Now for my skirt pieces, I'm doing the smaller skirt and there are the shorter skirt and there are lengthen and shorten lines here. I'm just going to go ahead and use those. I'm going to whack off two inches. So I'm going to go back through. I'll do that off camera, but I am going to go through at the lengthen and shorten line and take off two inches. I may need to take more than that off. Um, I'm only 5'2". Um, most of these patterns I think are directed for 5'6 people. Um, but yeah, I don't want to take too much off, especially because in the front, this does have a high-low hem, uh, but in the front, I don't want to take off too much um, too much height because I don't want this curving up too close and to get super short on me. So it may be that I end up taking off um, another couple of inches at the end and then taking it to nothing when it gets to this curve part. But for right now, I'm going to start in just taking out two inches here at the um, both skirt parts. 
But before I get rid of the skirt parts off camera, I'm just gonna set this over to the side. I wanna talk about your pattern just a little bit. So here at these cross hatches, um, you've got measurements, finish measurements for the hip. So this is where your hip should fall. Um, I'm making a 14, so the hip here is a 52. My hips are 39 inches, um, so I'm good to go on this. I'm not gonna have to mess with it. But here is the waist measurement, and it shows you where the waistline is gonna fall right here on the pattern. Let me move the back piece off. Makes it easier to see. So um, the waist on this is 34 inches. Um, and I'm assuming that that means like a finished waist, like with it wrapped. Which if that's the case, I should be good. However, I'll talk about, I am gonna be doing a full bust adjustment and um, that is gonna create more width in the front. So I may just go ahead and add some width to this, but I will let you know if I do. And if I do do that, um, I'm thinking I will probably just cut and, and stick it there. So cut down the grain line and then all the way down. So that will give me more width at the hips, but it's a wrap dress and I have a very lightweight fabric. And so I'm not too concerned about having extra width um, at the hip because that's, you know, it'll just give it more fullness. So I may, I may do that because then we can just tie the wrap tighter and then that will fit better. So I think I'll probably do that. So when I have added the width through the front bodice, just on the front skirt piece, I think I will cut down here and spread it that same amount so that my um, skirt matches up to my bodice again, because I do have um, a thicker waist in comparison to my hips. Okay, so that's an important measurement that we need to know though, 34. My waist, actually my waist is running about 33 right now. Typically it's about 32, um, although it can get up to 35, 36, depending on if I'm having a bad autoimmune time. So, um, but it is running right about 33 right now. And I think that is probably due to, um, I can tell my adrenal system is not properly functioning at the moment. Um, so I am carrying more water weight at the moment, but that aside, this is a wrap dress. You can very easily cinch in that waist. So I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm going to shorten this by two inches and then I will end up cutting this pattern just probably right down this grain line and adding that same amount and then just truing my lines that I add to the bodice. Okay, now these are the pieces. Okay, also my pocket piece, I mean, it's fine. It's a pocket piece. <laughs> so that one's fine. Well, that one will just get cut out. Okay, so these are the pieces I'm going to need for my muslin. I'm only gonna muslin the bodice. So I need uh, my front, my back, and my sleeve. So I very well might have to do a petite adjustment and I might have to adjust my shoulder. I'm gonna wait until the muslin stage to determine that. So for now, I'm gonna leave my back as is. I'm just gonna cut it out on the size 14. I'll go ahead and do that while I'm talking. Um, go ahead and cut this out on the size 14 because I'm, I wanna wait and see what the muslin tells me on whether or not I need a petite adjustment. And if I do, by how much? Most petite adjustments tend to be around like five eighths of an inch. Um, although on that silo that I just made, I did have to do a full inch. So, um, but that was also an oversized garment. But then on the McCall's jumpsuit I just did, I didn't have to do a petite adjustment at all. So we are gonna kinda, my dog is walking on my freshly ironed pattern. <laughs> Get it. Now I will say typically with big four patterns, I almost, uh oh, did I just cut that out on the wrong size line? I did. Oh, people, I just cut out a 12. Cause I was looking at the dot and not the size. Okay, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to That's the size 12 I'm cutting out. Whoopsie. Okay, so we're just gonna tape this all back together real quick. Um, 
I typically wear in McCall's and Butterick and Vogue, I wear a size 14. However, when I get into Simplicity New Look, uh, I hate the static that causes there. Um, I wear a 16, which just, I guess, just the different pattern companies. So you definitely want to always check your measurements. And I would assume that these C and so are the same block as your normal Butterick patterns, but I don't know that for sure. They may not be. Okay, little boo-boo, we're fine. All right, now we're cutting on a size 14. Right, yes. Okay, glad I caught that now and not later. Well, this is just going to make my pattern much more stable. <laughs> okay, so my back we're leaving as is. This is also a good time to talk about tracing your patterns. If you don't, you know, I bought most of these for $1.99, so um, I just cut into them. That might be wasteful. Um, I have not changed sizes, really. I'm Sometimes I have to tweak, um, depending on different things that my body is going through. But for the most part, I've been a 14, even at my thinnest or at my heaviest. <laughs> it's just different full bust adjustment sizes, really, because of where I put on weight. All right, so the back is good to go. Now I want to talk about the sleeve here first before we get into the full bust adjustment on the front. So I'm looking here, and this is a very nice pattern because it has my finished um, butt or a bicep circumference. And for a size 14, it's 13 and three quarters. My I have large biceps, and um, not because I'm buff, I just have large upper arms. <laughs> but my upper arm measurement's 13 and a half, so this is not gonna be enough. That's gonna be really tight across my arm. I always like at least 15 and a half inches for my bicep. And even looking at the sleeve, I could tell that that was going to be an issue. So I'm going to just go ahead and make that adjustment now because I know it's one that I'm going to need to make. And I should have put my stuff closer to me here. So I'm just going to show you how I do that really quickly. So you've got this crosshatch here, which um, should mark your bicep line. So I'm just going to go right at that crosshatch and I'm gonna draw a line that goes all the way across my size. I'm gonna use the pink so you guys can see that. And then I'm gonna take a line perpendicular to that, which is also the grain, perpendicular to the grain line, but I wanna go right up through the top notch, which is the circle that's here at the top of the pattern. Then I'm going to find my correct size, which is this 14. So here's my cut line right here for the 14. We have 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, so I'm going to measure down on that line 5 eighths of an inch. We have 5 eighths of an inch hem, so I'm going to measure up 5 eighths of an inch. And I'll measure in from my size 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm basically marking the sewing line. So now what I do, this is a very easy adjustment. So hopefully this is helpful to others that have larger biceps like myself. And this is one of those adjustments that just, it fascinates me every time I do it. I just think it's so cool, which might be kind of dorky, but we're gonna embrace it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up the line to that sewing line and stop. I'm going to cut up the seam allowance up to that line and stop. So we're going to have four hinge points um, all the way around the sleeve. So you want to be careful and not cut through. I also have all the sizes still here on this pattern for this sleeve. Okay. 
This adjustment though makes so much difference with anything with the sleeve. And I can tell with how steep this sleeve cap is that it was gonna be a tight fit for me even before I saw the measurement. Okay, now what we do, so again, the finished measurement for a size 14 is 13 and three quarters. I'm just gonna add two inches. Um, if I have a little bit over 15 and a half, that's fine, but I always want at least 15 and a half inches. So what we do next, is we get this to pivot. Okay, you want your hinges to be <laughs> to be clipped enough that this actually wants to hinge and work, but not enough that it breaks. This also makes the sleeve shorter. Oh my word, what is happening here? Come on, spread. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cut straight through this bottom one. I think because it's so short, it's just not, I don't have enough. There we go, there we go. Okay, there we go. Because it's such a short sleeve, I'm just not getting that spread like I would for a longer sleeve. All right, so now, right here at this fullest part of this dart, basically, I just wanna make sure I've got two inches. I guess because that, there we go. Because the hem of the sleeve is so close to where the bicep is. All right, we've got two inches. So now we're very carefully going to tape that in place. And everything should just wanna lie flat. Okay, so now you will want to just kind of, this is kind of a curved thing, and you can use your, um, a curved ruler if you want. To do that, but there we have it. I'm gonna put one little piece of tape up here, and then it's, it's doing something kind of weird up here. So we're just gonna smooth that out as well. Just a little bit. Uh, and there's gonna be our top of our sleeve. Okay, so now I can cut out my size, which is the 14, not the 12. Now I should have enough room. So this did not change the length of the sleeve cap at all. It just changed the shape of the sleeve cap, which is what I want because I have a wider arm. Now for a longer sleeve, I would not have cut through the hem allowance there, but um, because this sleeve is so short and that's kind of right where I need the width, um, that seemed to work. So there we have it. There is my new sleeve piece right there with two inches added. So again, it changed the shape of the sleeve, but that should be just fine. And actually, this really bothers me when I have like excess paper flapping around behind here. So I'm actually going to cut that off. And then just stick some tape to keep that in place. Okay. So there we have the 
sleeve is ready to be muslined. Okay, so now let's do the front for the full bust adjustment. Get fresh paper here so you can see. Someone had, uh, quite a few people had asked about where this is my paper. This is medical exam paper. You can buy it off Amazon. It is, you can get like a whole 12 pack of it and it lasts you forever. So just search medical exam paper on Amazon. You'll be shocked at what you can find. Okay. So now let's look at this, uh, front piece here. So this is a wrap bodice, obviously, um, or a surplus bodice, however you would like to, whatever you would like to call it. This one does have a very interesting grain line. So it's basically put, it's going to put the bias that would normally be here on the straight of grain, which will be interesting when it's time to go and sew that. But for now, we're going to ignore the grain line as we're doing this um, adjustment. So again, I'm going to look at my size and it says for a size 14, there's 39 inch is what the finished measurement is. My bust right now <laughs> is 40. It usually is between 39 and 40. Right now it's at 40. I want at least two inches of ease. Um, you always want at least two inches of ease at your bust. So I want a measurement of 42. So I need to go from a, a 39 inch to a 42 inch, <clears throat> which means I need to add three inches across the front of my bodice. So I'm going to add an inch and a half on each side. So that's how I'm getting that number. Now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut out my 14, just so it doesn't get a uh, wrong line again. Wow, that gets, that gets me every time. Okay, this is the 14. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the 14 just so we have less lines that we have to look at for the sizes. Pattern's very nice in that it comes with all the sizes, but um, that can get a little confusing when you're looking at all of them. All right. So my goal here for now, and again, I may have to do a petite adjustment. I don't know yet. Um, but for now, we're just gonna do our full bust, which I know I need. Okay, so I have, my dart is right here and I'm gonna mark it in pink so you can see my dart. This is the dart for the 14. And there's the apex. Now darts typically stop about an inch away from the apex. I want my dart, this most likely is the apex of the pattern, the way it's been drafted. And if I actually hold it up to my body, I don't know that you're gonna be able to see this. But that is a little higher than my apex, actually by quite a bit, but then it will drop when I do my full bust adjustment. So we're gonna go from that point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a line that is, I'm gonna use a different color just so we don't get confused here. I'm gonna make a line through that hash mark. And then I want to go from the center of my dart, which is this little point here where it kind of juts out, from the center of the current dart up to that line. And then I'm gonna go from that point, so this is the apex point here we're kind of working with. And I'm gonna go here. All right, cause that, this dart is pointing up to there. Okay, so we should be good. So now what I'm going to do is a full bust adjustment. Oh wait, sorry, I also need to mark in here at the arm my seam allowance, which is five eighths of an inch. 
Okay, so now we're gonna cut up from the bottom. And at that point, we're gonna turn and go to the seam allowance of the armhole. Don't cut through that. And we're gonna cut through the seam allowance, but leave that hinge there. And then we're gonna cut right up through the center of this dart. But don't cut all the way through. You wanna leave a little bitty hinge. Sometimes those can rip, it happens. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, actually I can see through my, <laughs> my paper here. We wanna line, um, I'm going to tape down, it just makes it a lot easier. And you just wanna tape kind of this part right up here. Don't, don't tape any of the movable parts yet. And don't tape too far down on this side because we are gonna cut, that needs to be cut and lengthened. Okay, so I just have, you know, I've stopped here. We are gonna cut along this here in a minute. All right, so now you can take your, um, you can kind of move this out of the way if you want and go ahead and mark your line here, which in my case is an inch and a half away from this cut line because that's where I'm wanting to add. And then we're just gonna swing all of this till it lines up with that. Okay. And now we can tape down all of the left-hand side here. This is a very large dart. All right, okay, so now I'm actually going to draw this lengthen and shorten line. I'm going to extend it. I'm gonna move that out of the way for just a second. I wanna extend this. Because I'm now going to cut through here. And I also want to do another, this just keeps everything in line. So I'm going to mark through this center front line so that I can then match all of this up. Okay. So you will notice that I am adding in quite a bit of length here in the front, right through here. But you need that. So if you need that big of a bust adjustment, you need that length to go around your bust so that it's hitting where it's supposed to. Now, your side seam won't change because you'll take in this dart and that will be the same as the original pattern. So I did have questions about that. And if I have to do a petite adjustment, I'm actually shortening up here. So it's an issue with it being too long in this vicinity, which actually plays, I mean, it does raise your bust dart a little bit, um, but you know, that might be the case. And we're again gonna see once, um, once we do a muslin. All right, now you're gonna notice there's quite a bit of a jog here. So now the best thing to say, we know that this is the point where we want to end. So we are going to probably cut off a little bit there. And that's okay, because we have that added length. Oops. Sending pattern pieces flying. So point of reference. We know that this is where we want to end. So now we're just going to do a line. I want to try and take off as little as possible, but still keeping it
sometimes it takes a little bit to find a good point. There we go. Okay, I feel good about that. All right, so this is where we will cut. Let's go ahead and tape this down here. Before we cut, let's reconfigure our dart. So these are our new dart legs right here. This line here, not your cut line, and this line here. So we've just added a whole big chunk to a dart. This is gonna make a very fat dart. And I will talk about that in a second because if you've got such a big dart, you can cut the dart bulk out and actually cut into the dart. Um, I mean, you have to surge that to finish it off. So it's kind of up to you. But what we wanna do, so this was our apex right here, but we wanna back off that. We do not want um, that big of, that far into the bust. We wanna back off probably an inch. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna measure this dark bulk that's been added. It's four and a half, so I'm just gonna mark the center of it. Actually, let's do this. <laughs> Let me get my, Okay, so I'm just gonna, this is my tracing wheel. It just makes perforation a little bit easier. Well, for heaven's sake, you gotta be able to stay on the line. So if you extend those dart legs, it actually gives you a new dart point right there. Okay, so there is my new. So these are still my dart legs here, not just the cut area. So now you can fold that to true up your side seam. Now it's not gonna lie flat there at all because you have so much bulk. But you just want it relatively flat here at the side seam. And you can take a tracing wheel and then kind of go over your side seam there or, and then when you unfold, it's gonna give you, you'll be able to see your new dart, your new shape there. Or you can go ahead and cut while it's folded. So I'm just going to follow my perforated marks. Like so. So this will be my new um, end of dart right here. That's a gigantic dart. We'll see how that goes in the muslin stage. Now, I have mentioned before, if you find that this is just a little too severe, you can kind of scoop that out. If you watch the daily vlogs, I just did this for a pattern. It looks severe, but trust me, if you've got a large bust, you need that. You need your armhole to look weird like that. <laughs> so now I'm just going to cut. And this is a full bust adjustment on this pattern. You can also true that up. I'm just cutting away. It all comes out in the wash. And then I'm just gonna go oop, like so. And that is what that piece now looks like. Again, gigantic dart, 
Um, and I may even make note here that this is where my dart legs are, not here. So that I don't forget to clip into those. Okay, there you have it. There's the adjustment. So now I'm going to make a muslin. And once I've made that, I will um, show you what it looks like and if I'm gonna be making any further pattern adjustments on this pattern. Um, but that's about it, other than shortening the skirt that, uh, and then adding this one and a half inch width through the um, front. That's it, we are done with pattern adjustments. Okay. All right, so here is my bodice muslin. And guys, I am really, really pleased with this. I think the shoulders are gonna be absolutely fine. The shoulder seam is sitting, sorry about my midriff. <laughs> The skirt um, pattern piece has the waist. I think it's supposed to be a little above your natural waist. My natural waist is right here. Obviously, this will be five eighths of an inch up. Um, and the skirt will also help pull, the weight will pull some of this down. So um, my darts are gigantic, but I think when all of a sudden, I mean, they're pointing right at my apex. My apex is right there. They're about, um, three quarters of an inch probably away from my apex, which is kind of right where you want. Um, I think that my shoulders are fitting great. I don't think I need any petite adjustment in through there. My armhole is nice and tucked up underneath my arm. I have enough uh, movability there in my sleeve, so that's good. Now this will be five eighths of an inch in. So it will be a little deeper plunge, although I can, oh, I blocked the dog out. She is unhappy. I can, um, you know, I can pull that tighter if I need to because it's a wrap dress. So the tighter you pull, the more that will cross. You just want to make sure. I mean, I want this to wrap underneath that boob <laughs> and underneath that boob. Um, but yeah, once the five eighths of an inch is out of the way. Um, and judging by the pattern cover, I can tell that this is kind of a wider neckline, but yeah, I find, I mean, I think that that's, I mean, maybe I could do a little bit of one of a narrow shoulder. I don't think so though. I think that that is sitting just where, just fine. I mean, that just, yeah, I think will be perfect. And I'm gonna do twill tape for around the neckline so that it will keep all of that nice and snug. So yeah, I think we're good. So I think um, the, sh the changes that I showed you, I have shortened the skirt by two inches, um, both the front and back, and I have added the inch, I'll back up a little bit more. <laughs> I've added the inch and a half to the width in the front so that it now matches the, um, the bodice front. Um, and I'm not worried about that, just having extra fullness. I think that will be nice just to have a swishier skirt since I am using a thinner fabric. Um, but yeah, I think we're all ready to go catch or uh, cut out our fashion fabric. I have determined that I don't need to line my cotton voile. I walked around with it wrapped around me um, and just undergarments and had my family tell me if they could see anything through it. So I think we're good to go on that. Um, so yeah, I think with these fit adjustments, we should be good to go. Um, I love when that happens, when that works out that way. Um, I mean, my darts are a little pointy right here, but I can fiddle around with that in the final garment, which is, again, a lot thinner than this non-give uh, fabric. And I'm going to have the weight of the skirt that's going to pull this bodice down a little bit. So, um, yeah. Okay, so that is it for this week. If you have any questions about any of the adjustments that I made, um, feel free to leave them down below. And then next week, I will probably, we'll cut it out together and uh, get sewing on our wrap dresses. Okay, guys, have a wonderful Sunday, and I will see you in the daily vlog, or I'll see you for another formal video on Tuesday. Bye!